Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, bringing you some more Beam NG. Today we're going to be doing the Bridge Out Challenge. I downloaded this off of the official website, so I will link that below. It looks like it's going to be a challenge where you literally just have to hit a jump and clear a probably massive space and land on the other side. Uh, that doesn't sound too hard, but it is Beam NG, and I, I imagine this is going to be very, very challenging. So. Uh, one reason I'm doing this, and it's because a lot of people have asked for like more crashes, so I'm pretty sure this is going to provide plenty of entertainment. I'm going to completely... Jeez. Okay. Alright. Remind myself, there's rocks on the right side, and the lead up to the ramp is completely gravel. So, yeah, this is going to lead to a ton of crashes. Alright, let's get going here again. I would do some slow-mo and all that, but I would like to get a good time, and I know for some reason BeamNG, like when you slow down time, it doesn't actually slow down the timer, so I'm not going to be able to do that during the scenario. Maybe we'll... Wow, actually made it pretty far that time, and oh, there is a big cliff on the other side. That's good to know, because that's going to provide probably some really excellent moments. But anyways, uh, like I said with the the scenario timer, like I want to get a good time, so maybe after, if I complete this thing, we can... Uh, we can take another a couple vehicles, we'll just uh, go into free roam, go to the same location, and we'll do the same thing with maybe a couple different vehicles, maybe some things that won't even make it over. That way we can provide plenty of crashing action, and I'm thinking I'm gonna... Oh, we got some good air that time, and... Wait a minute, you know what? Can you actually influence the car whenever you're in air? Like, that was... Oh, that was devastating. What? Wait, <laughs> we're still driving. How is this even working? We're going to finish the challenge. I mean, that, that was not pretty at all, but... Okay. That's not the way I want to beat that challenge. Uh, we, we've got we've to have a lot cleaner car than that. A, a lot better time. I'm just really surprised that thing even drove off. That's, that's absolutely amazing. Alright, let's get going again here. Pick up some good speed. Keep in mind on the rocks on the left. Uh, I am feathering the throttle a bit going down this hill, and I'm not going to make it again. Jeez. Oh, okay. Well, we almost stuck in the trail. This is going to be bad. Ouch. I think... Thank God we have a roll cage in there. That's... I mean... That's like the one thing that might actually save us each time. I think that we're actually going to probably do a couple vehicles that don't have roll cages in it because I think it'd be awesome and devastating, but... I guess for the sake of the challenge, we might have survived that. Alright, I need to try to hit the ramp here on the left side. No, it dragged. Eh, well, I hit it about in the middle there. I'm not going to make it at all here. Uh, what I'm trying to do, the challenge said to try to hit the ramp on the left side. I guess it looks like there's some hills on the other side. Or once you clear the ramp and you get to that right side, the uh, landing's not even at all. It looks like on the right side it does go up, so I can kind of see where they're wanting you to hit the ramp on the left side. So let's try that again. I'm going to try to drag it over to the left here at the last moment. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Nope. Oh, nope. Never mind. Man, you almost have to hit, like, right on the gravel road there. I was too far to the left here. We actually might still make it. Are we going to do it? Uh, it's going to be not good. Yeah, the time's going to suck, but still. Uh, it's still amazing that it even drives off. I don't I don't know how that's even possible. Uh, let's do this again. Alright, folks, let's, uh, I'm thinking, you know, I really don't even know how to change up my strategy here. This is really a one-shot. This isn't like the last thing where it was like a rally track and, you know, you kind of get a game plan together. This one's just don't die is the game plan. And, oh, we might actually land good. Ah, oh, it's going to land sideways. Nope. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that's going to be a tree, too. But, yeah, if you watched my last video, I got a little frustrated. The uh, It was a really good track layout, but the checkpoint, oh, that hurt. The, uh, oh, we're going to burn to death here, too. That's just adding insult to injury. But, yeah, the uh, track layout had a really oddly placed checkpoint. I probably raged a lot. I, I know I cut a lot of that footage out, but, yeah, uh, this is just, challenges like this are absolutely fun. So I'm going to try to find more of these for future episodes. Uh, let's see. Just going to have to drag it to the left here. And, oh, this is not going to be good. I've already blown a tire. And, no, we're going to flip right over here. Oh. You know, I kind of, I'm really curious, like, to do, I really want to do this with that, with a, now with a car that doesn't have a roll cage. Um, maybe some heavier vehicles, I'm pretty sure those are going to be really hard to get over this uh, hill. There's about 10 foot behind me that maybe I can back up and go down, but 
I don't know if that's really gonna make much of a difference and this is gonna, we ain't gonna land this at all. Oh, this is gonna be a nice barrel roll. There we go. Okay. Oh, does it still drive? Oh, the motor's still running. No, the uh, axle's broke, Never mind. It's gonna probably, yeah, it's gonna slow down here. That was a good attempt, though. All right, let's try this again. Uh, I hope I can get this done in a decent time here. Uh, I really don't want to rely on the one where, like, the car was basically in the shape of a U, so... Hopefully we don't have to fall back on that time. Let's try to hit it good this time. Oh, oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. This is going to be a big crash, but... Oh! You know what I've noticed? I'm going to show you a car here in a minute. I've been driving this 57 Cadillac. Like, the wheels pop off on this car, but the one on the Cadillac, when they pop off, it's ridiculous. Like, they instantly fly off and go, like, flying through the air. It's, it's amazing. We'll, we'll probably drive that if I can finish this challenge here. I'm going to screw this up completely. Oh, the wheel's actually broken. The left rear was broke. Okay. I don't know how that happened. I guess maybe it just I broke. All right, folks, the left rear broke on the left, last one. I don't know really what caused it. I guess I hit something wrong down there. Let's, uh, let's try to give us another shot here and pull to the left. And all oh, this is going to be bad. It's going to be bad. Wait. Wait a minute. Yes! Oh! Oh, that's amazing. I don't, how did that even work? I, I for sure thought it, we were going to flip over there and we're just going to tear it up here, but... Yeah, I'm gonna have to settle on that time, 19 seconds, and the car was relatively clean until we just crashed it here. Uh, I think that's gonna that's gonna do good for that challenge. Uh, let's go grab some more vehicles and run them off the cliff. All right, folks, this was the uh, 57 uh, Cadillac. I had to remember there for a second. There's a one in the game that looks similar to this, but this is a mod, and this thing is crazy. It's it's heavy. It's fairly fast. I'm using the race modified version of it. And watch this, as soon as this thing hits anywhere, it's the wheels just fly off. It's like, I don't even know what they're, it's like Elmer's glue is literally holding those wheels on. Uh, and the whole fact that they're like basketballs or something, because as soon as they launch, I mean, they bounce like crazy. Uh, it, it could be the car itself might be in beta or alpha. I, I need to go check that, because you know, maybe this is going to get fixed. But the model itself looks really good, and there go the wheels. Like, this challenge is going to be impossible with this car. I can already tell you. Because, like, this thing, it's heavy. And, you know, I can get it to the other side, but as soon as I land, the wheels just fly off. Uh, uh, let's try it again. You never know. Maybe I'll just get lucky one time and land on the other side, and not all the wheels will fall off. We can just drag to the uh, finish. Uh, like I said, keep in mind, I'm not in the challenge anymore. I'm using just random vehicles, but I really wish you could change the car in the challenge. And there go the wheels again. Oh, hey, we... we we kept the back ones. Never mind. There they go. Wow, that's just crazy. Oh, there goes one of the wheels. See there. That's. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's funny. I, I just, I'm trying to think of like, I don't know what other vehicles we can send off here. I, I want to try to stay away from all the cars that are in the game. I want to try to use some of the modded cars that I've downloaded. And you know, this thing is actually getting to the other side, but I almost think you're going to have to land perfect to actually make it down to where that checkpoint was. And wow, there go the wheels. There goes one into the ocean. There goes one there. And there's another one to the right going in the ocean. And there's the last one. That's ridiculous. All right, folks, got another car here. This is a car that's absolutely not going to make it to the other side. I've got a taxi limo. And no, there's not a chance. This thing's way too heavy, and it probably doesn't have very good speed, so... I don't know, I think it'd be fun to crash it off the cliff. Uh, I don't think... No, it doesn't look like there's a roll cage in here. Let's see... Yeah, you know, I really should probably just run into the, uh... Run into the car there. Let's see... Oh, we just ran off the cliff. Okay, we're gonna reset here and do it again. This car is actually really cool looking. Uh, I gotta remember which pack this is, because this pack had several cars in it. So I need to go back and, uh, I'm gonna try to link everything below, but like I said, the, all this is on the official website, so you'll be able to find everything there. And we're gonna launch off and, oh, there we go, we killed ourselves again. Yeah, I kinda figured this car wasn't gonna work. Let's, uh, let's try a different one here. Okay, this car, I've, I've driven it on several different things. This thing is absolutely impossible to drive with the uh i think it's got like the second division turbo whatever the motor is that they're in here 
And uh, wow, we actually made it to the ramp, which is really, really surprising. I, I, can, you know, I can't even control this thing on like asphalt. Uh, wow, this thing has really good damage on it. So you gotta watch with some of these mod vehicles, the damage is just real so, so, so. It seems like, like the car is way too stiff and wow. <laughs> yeah, I can, like I don't even know how I made it down the first time, to be honest with you. I just figured this car's got ridiculous speed. You know, I need to find a map that's got ramps like this, except for it's got like an actual, like a really good run up to it, and it's got maybe asphalt or something. Oh, we're gonna die here. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Where'd the motor go? I guess we lost the motor. Oh, there it is. Okay, looks like the motor's just made out of plastic or something. Uh, let's hit it again. Alright, coming down to the run up to the ramp, and we're not gonna make it. Once again, you know, screw this vehicle. Okay, this is gonna make it, right, guys? This is the free will, I guess, the pigeon. Uh, I've got the most powerful version of it, so maybe we can make it halfway across. Uh, this thing actually picks up really good speed. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't expect that at all. This thing actually does fly and oh we're gonna burn to death here uh, that's really surprising I didn't expect this vehicle to be able to make it at all like not even close uh, well, let's try that again it's a little hard to drive we go down the front here and we're hitting the ramp and we're flying off and I'm gonna hit the thing oh nope not good again all right let's give it another try here Okay, here we go. Let's give this a man. This thing is—it's dead sideways, like right when it takes off. Uh, I'm assuming because it has three wheels and it's really hard to drive. But let's try to hit this again to see if we can make it. All right, here we go. I think we're gonna. Okay, I'm gonna count that as we made it. We made it over the lip there. Uh, I don't think this is a vehicle that's gonna be able to withstand the impact when we land. But that's uh, that's pretty good for that vehicle. So I'm I'm happy with that. All right, I figured it was like a grand finale. Uh, I had a scrap mechanic build just like this. I believe this model is actually from Spin Tires, and we know this thing isn't going to make it, so let's just launch it off and crash it and call it a day. So here we go. This is, thing is really slow, but this is gonna, probably going to be epic. I really hope it has some sort of damage model. Um, I would think it does, but with this being a model from another game, and oh, it does. That's awesome. But anyways, I hope you liked the video today, guys. We'll be coming out with more BeamNG, Scrap Mechanics, some other games. Uh, we made it to 5,000 subs. I'm really thankful for that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.